Hello, 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 fierce goodness family. Welcome back to my channel. Alright, so today we are going to be doing the beginner's kango jump. Okay, I know you don't have patience. Some of you coming across the channel, you don't want to hear us talking when we say we want to work out. So I will be doing most of the talking while we're working out already. So don't forget to subscribe. Let's do this. Let's burn fat and calories. And remember, you're going to burn anywhere from 1,000 to 1,245 minutes. Beginners class, we're going to start small and build up. We're going to try to gain our balance and try to get used to the shoes. Okay, I have it right behind me. As you can see, let me put it on and let's dive right in. All right, so let's talk about balance. When you buy your kangoo boots, you get so excited, you want to start working out and all of that, but you first of all have to master the shoes, get used to it, try to balance properly, and then you can do all the difficult moves. But first of all, you have to start with the beginner-friendly moves. And that's what we're going to do on this video. But keep a chair next to you if you're just new into this. But if you're someone that you've been rollerblading, skating, and all those other sports that uh, you need a lot of balance, then it will be easier for you to maneuver the kangoo boots. Although the boot is not difficult to understand and get used to, but yeah, like when you're standing still, that's the most difficult part because it is difficult to balance when you're standing. But if you're moving continuously, it is easy. If you're trying to jog or running, it is very easy because the shoe was actually designed for joggers and runners. So if you're doing any of those sports, it's easier. But when you try to do those other different moves, it is more difficult. So it is better for you to start with a simple move that you see me doing here okay so just follow along if you don't understand anything you can pause the video or you know and then try to do it by yourself and start and then just let's do it together we're going to do a whole lot of beginner friendly moves before we can get into those other complicated moves because they do have different levels and different moves they have complicated moves where you have to jump spin around do so many other things but first of all get used to your shoes get used to the balance and then you can move on ahead okay so everything you see on this particular video is just simple simple steps that we're going to repeat over and over until we get used to our shoes we can jump we can hop we can do every other thing with the shoes and then we can now upgrade now like i said before this is going to help you burn anywhere from 100 uh, 1000 to 1200 calories in a 45 minute session okay but now i'm not expecting you as someone that is starting out to be able to bounce for 45 minutes looking at me doing it it looks simple when you see people all those people jumping and dancing doing the kangoo dance it is fun and it looks like it's easy you're like okay i can go for one hour trust me it is not okay because at the point you start feeling your heart rate going up and all of that so you listen to your body and if your body tells you to stop you stop but just don't stand because that's not a good thing when you're working out just stop all together so you just stop and start marching okay just march in place or move around you know move from end to end depending on the space if you're outside then okay you have enough space if you're inside like me then you might not have enough space but just move side to side few steps not standing still until you feel like you're okay to go back into the hopping and jumping and all of that okay so at this point here you see that we're transferring all our body weight to one leg at a time so this is a simple thing that you can do by here i'm bouncing but you can do this by just transferring your body weight to your right leg and transferring it to your left leg and repeating that for maybe 10 times before you do something else and also here you see me bouncing and throwing my legs out you can also just stand and do it when you're used to it then you can add the bouncing into it but it is not difficult to do because you can see we're not kicking that high you know so yeah you just bounce and lift one leg bounce and lift the other leg okay it's a bounce boot right so it will help you with that bouncing okay and remember that this is really fun and it helps you to reduce 
joint impact by 80%. That's a whole lot. So if you're doing this without the shoe, you know that, okay, it impacts your joints and all of that. But this will help reduce that by 80%. Percent and it is effective, okay. It helps with stress, you know, you feel more better, you know, it increases the endurance and oxygen consumption, it helps to improve your muscle, like tone your muscle properly. So, the benefits are just numerous, okay. But we're starting here with a 10 minute uh, kangoo jump and we will build up slowly, okay. The next we can go for 15 minutes and then 20 minutes so we will slowly build until we get to that 45 minutes remember on this channel i always tell you that everything we are doing is beginner friendly we have the beginners at heart we are working with people that are just starting out you've not worked out for a long time you've not even worked out in your life before but now you feel like okay this is something you want to do this is a lifestyle you want to adapt then this is the channel you need to be at share it with those friends and family of yours that you know that have not been working out they're not used to all these strenuous or stressful workouts and they cannot go for a long time we have short five minutes seven minutes to ten minutes workouts that we can do together and we're bringing in more fun workouts like the kangaroo jump some persons might not want to do heat workout they might not want to do all this other cardio but this is a fun cardio okay all you need to do is purchase your shoes okay and then join our class and let me also state that we're going to be having live sessions also okay so if you want us to do that remember to comment down below leave us a comment down below so we know we can schedule a live session where we can work out together for let's say 20 minutes on live get tired together we make all the mistakes together it is going to be fun okay for 20 minutes and sure you're going to be burning tons of fat and calories okay all right it is just good for your health anything that you're doing that keeps your heart pumping and all of that it is super super good even your doctors will tell you that okay don't take my word ask your doctor your doctor will let you know that doing your cardio is very good going for your running your jogging and all of that so now that the weather is very cold in some countries there are lots and lots and lots of snow out there that you cannot even step out that is one of the benefits of having this kangoo shoe because you can actually use it indoors first of all practice your balance and please don't stand close to stuff like your tv your glass table and anything that you can break you know decorations that you have at home just make a space where you're not close to anything breakable or you're not going to destroy anything in your house if you're not used to the shoe yet then remember to keep a chair like a dining chair close to you or something that you can quickly hold on to to assist you while you practice with the shoe when you're used to the shoe when you have your balance then you can take the table away you can take whatever you're using as balance away and then start bouncing on your own like i'm doing right here without it i think this is the third time i'm using the shoes you know the first time i put it on i only used it to walk around that's what i did because that was my first time trying the kango shoe or the bounce boot and all of that so when i put it on the first time i just walked around to see how it feels okay it was okay the balance was yeah you know and all of that but yeah slowly i got used to it and i'm still learning i'm not perfect with it you know like i said it's easier for people that rollerblade skaters and all those other type of sports that you see that they need a whole lot of balance to do so if you've been doing that for over the years then it's easy for you to wear the kangaroo boots or the bounce boots the rebound boots so many names <laughs> that the shoe is called so it's easy for you to use it and then get it you just master it within few days but if you've not done any of those spots you're not someone that you've tried those things then your balance is something as, as you know even when we work out we try to train ourselves we try to get our balance you know and all of that so it is this is just something that will also help you with your balance just as when you train you want to get your balance your endurance and all of that so yeah this shoe is going to help you get that balance and all of that because you see how the shoe is designed and when you want to do things like squats uh, jumping jacks the crossing of legs all those things that you really need your balance you know so you have to keep doing it 
Don't worry if it looks funny, if you feel like you're falling, you're not going to fall. For me, I have not fallen yet, so I don't think it is easy, though it might look like the shoe is not balanced and you might fall easily, but it doesn't happen. And I don't, I've not seen anyone that has fallen down already, okay? So, all right, just follow along, like I said before, listen to your body because that is very, very important, okay? I'm so sorry from this point, you people will be hearing my little one's voice at this point, okay? All right, so let's, let's go, let's, let's go, let's keep going, let's keep going, that's mom's life, that's mom's life. All right, so keep going, keep going, just bounce, transfer your body weight to one leg at a time, keep bouncing, keep bouncing, keep bouncing, we are going to do this together, it is going to be fun, okay? Today we have a 10 minutes video. The next one that we're going, we're going for 15 minutes. We have to push ourselves further and further and further until we can get that bouncing for 45 minutes so we can bond that 1,000 to 1,200 or even more in, uh, in a session, okay? But well, now let's start with 10 minutes. If you try this, let me know. You can also do this if you do not have the bounce boot. Okay, so this is actually the end. From now on, it's time to just pose for some thumbnail photos, okay? Laugh along with me as we do this, content creators. Sometimes we forget to take photos and we all have to just pose in the video so we can use it as thumbnail. All right, so even if you don't have this, th uh, this um, I said thumbnail, even though you don't have these shoes, you can still do this workout. All you need to do is just follow along, bounce along, you know, just jog in place and all of that.